All right, today we're going to do a review of the uh, Bella Cake Pop and Donut Hole Maker. Uh, we don't know how this uh, unit compares to the Baby Cakes uh, Cake Pop Maker, which we've seen other YouTube videos on. We are unboxing it and going to make a batch of cake pops. Let's see how it. Uh, okay, so we've taken out. it out of the package and we've given it a wash. The manual recommends that you do a warm soapy wash and cautions that even after a warm soapy wash uh, that it's still your first ba batch may still have quite a smell to it and that you may even want to throw out your first batch entirely um, according to the manual which uh, kind of seems ridiculous but we'll see how stinky they are. If they're really bad I'll just feed them to my husband. <laughs> um, other than that uh, the cord seems a little short since I don't have an outlet on my stove, which is where I would prefer to make it in case there's a um, boil over, um, I, I'll have to use my counter anyway. Um, so I, my first thought is uh, I wish for a longer cord maybe, but um, that's probably not an issue for most people. From watching other videos on the other machine that's made by who, uh, Baby Cakes, I guess, their unit comes with um, a little, a few more accoutrements apparently they're kind of kitschy but it would be nice to have them I think it comes with um, a fork to take them out and um, <clears throat> a ladle or um, actually a syringe dispenser for your dough um, and you... also a, a drip tray right we've seen on some of them uh, I don't think so but... for the cake pop to put your cake pop into oh a tray holder yeah yeah. To, yeah yeah and this unit is obviously bare bones it doesn't come with any of that um, so but it's only $19.99 at Walmart. In one of the other videos, uh, in the initial trial, uh, they couldn't get the unit open again after closing it. So it has a tab here, so that once you close it, it clicks shut, and then you pull the tab. People's complaint then, about this unit you know, versus handmade cake pops is that the, the batter tends to be dry because you're not mixing it with icing like you do with a traditional handmade cake pop. Um, so I'm gonna give it a shot with this Giardelli uh, brownie mix and see how they turn out. I'm gonna make the batter, then the trick is, I think, to be able to spoon the batter in fast enough so that the initial ones don't start cooking before you've closed the lid. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna pull that off yet, but we'll give it a go. All right, I've closed the lid, and I'm gonna hit the timer. And, uh, oh, start. Let's see how long it takes to warm up. All right, the manual states to allow two to three minutes for the unit to preheat and the green ready light to be on. So we're gonna conclude that after seven minutes and 45 seconds, it's preheated and the the, the ready light just is um, burnt out. This isn't so hot that you can't lift the lid. Oh, was the other, the other ones were getting really hot? Well, I don't know if they were getting that hot or if people were just afraid to touch them. Here. Oh, this is so gonna make a mess. I think you're only supposed to fill the bottom half, right? Yeah, for sure. How else? Yeah. But this method is not working because the... Because you can't stop the flow? Yep. Well, I kind of thought you were going to hold it at the bottom by the tip. It looks like a big roll of poop. <laughs> well, rookie experience, right? Yeah, we're going to do more than one dozen. Down goes the lid. All right, it's steaming pretty good right now. You can see. So we're gonna rely on the steam to subside rather than the ready light to come back on. But one thing we've both uh, announced so far is that uh, it smells really good, so. And um, I realized that when I was talking about things that were included and not included, I didn't realize it doesn't even come with the cake pop sticks. like. You know, I don't expect a lifetime supply, but it could have at least come with, you know, a one batch, a dozen um, sticks to start you off. But the fact that it didn't even come with that is uh, pretty Jipco Pipco, in my opinion. <laughs> and with that, the light just turned on. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no oven mitts needed. Woo, holy crap. Oh, look at that, hey? What a mess. Oh, still definitely not done. But that might be my fault because I used brownie mix. Well, put it back in. Let it go for a couple more minutes. So we waited seven and a half minutes, a little bit longer, to uh, start taking them out. Mm, people can. Those are really nice and round. People can say what they want about the 
cheesy little fork that comes with the other unit. But honestly, I think it's probably pretty useful. Because you want something smaller than a standard fork that makes a small puncture hole. Well, hang on, don't we have um, forks from um, the, uh, the You're really fondue? You're speaking clearly. Well, maybe, but I don't want to dig out my fondue set. <laughs> Here you go, love of my life. Try the uh, skewers. That's going to make a huge hole. That's what it's I It's got a want. sharp tip. Yeah, but it's going to make a huge hole. Like... It's bigger than the cake pop. Yeah, but the cake pop would be staying in it. See, now look, I have a huge hole in it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That's fine. We're just experimenting here, right? But I'm just saying for the long run, especially if you've gone to the trouble of putting like a some people recommend putting a piece of chocolate bar in the middle. You wouldn't want to for sure have that leak out. All right, so next time I'll try a regular. What I will say is that that the nonstick surface is really good. Yeah, it's something that the people are saying about the other one that uh, the baby cake said it still was sticky. Hey. Yeah, like I mean, granted we did use um, palm oil. Yeah, I didn't on this last batch, and it, and stuff just wiped off like no problem. So final final thoughts on the machine? Final thoughts on the machine are um, if you're looking for a quote unquote perfect circle cake pop, this isn't your shtick. You're never going to get it. Hand make them yourself if you're that anal. <laughs> um, if you're looking for a fast way to make something, then this might be right for you. Um, as far as comparing it to the other machine, um, I actually think that the few gadgets that it comes with, the the tray, the the sticks, and the fork, as well as the syringe to dispense the um, batter, might actually be worth the extra ten bucks. But um, not if the machine itself stinks. Right, but not in comparison to the machine. So maybe buy the other machine, pill for those parts out, and take it back. No, we don't recommend that. That's terrible and dishonest. And you're gonna edit that out. But um, anyway, yeah, it's not a bad little unit. I don't know for sure if we'll keep it for us because we don't have a ton of storage space for extra small appliances like this. Um, but, um, that was our experience using the Giardelli brownie mix, not adding anything to it and letting it cook for seven to eight minutes, give or take. Um, it does heat up really fast after the initial go through. We didn't find there was a big stink to it, or at least I didn't initially. It burned off pretty quickly. It tasted great. Um, and they do taste great. And, um, and they are pretty moist despite being a little bit overdone on the outside. Um. I can show you. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but that's like some moist chocolate still. So awesome. They are quite good. The end.